Today in this video we're looking at how to turn a Windows laptop computer into a desktop type setup. Now we'll be using an HDMI connection to get everything set up. I bought these from Amazon the other day, the Amazon Basics high speed HDMI cable. So I'll post a link in the description below about this. So we'll be looking at the equipment used along with actually getting things set up. But later in the video we'll be also be looking at best tips to actually optimize your setup. So looking at things like power settings, display and sound settings because that can be quite tricky to navigate if you're outputting to another monitor. So be sure to keep watching. Okay, so just a quick run through all the equipment that we'll be using in this video to get the laptop turned into a desktop type setup. So as you can see, we've got a fairly good sized monitor there. We've got crucially the HDMI cable there, which connects the laptop to the monitor. We've also got the monitor power there, along with the keyboard, as you can see that, okay. We've also got a Lenovo IdeaPad laptop there, which you'll be using along with the power cable and a separate mouse. And then just a couple of extra bits to add on because we use an external hard drive and a webcam as we haven't got enough USB ports on the laptop. We'll also be using a Sabrent USB hub. I'll pop the link in the description below. The laptop only has three USB ports at the moment. So the Sabrent USB hub enables us to add another USB port for in total and you can switch them on and off individually. Okay, so let's go ahead now and get this laptop turned into a desktop PC. Okay, so let's get everything hooked up. So I'm going to connect the relevant cables to the monitor. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's plug the power cord firstly into the back of the monitor. And then we're going to plug the HDMI cable into the port as well. Just lay it back out there like that. And we'll need the cables accessible. So let's just leave them on the top. Now, the other things which we're going to need is the keyboard here. And I'm going to lay these out in some kind of rough resemblance where I want everything to be. So the USB connections I'm going to put on here on the right side. So I'm going to just go and get these connected up now. And it's a case of just connecting it to the sort of relevant socket there is no particular order here so that is the keyboard followed by the webcam the mouse here and then last the external hard drive so firstly start by connecting the hdmi cable on here so if we pop that in there now one other thing to note is because we're going to be using the laptop as a desktop type setup which is generally used over longer periods i always have the power connected here so we'll put the power cable in there as well because there's nothing worse and more frustrating than actually having to stop work because your computer's power or the laptop's powered down because it's the batteries ran out. And lastly, plug in the USB hub into the USB ports or if you're not using a hub, just plug in the individual USB connections. The other thing we need to do is to make sure the power is actually plugged in. So after everything's powered in, it's just a case of turning on the laptop. Okay, so the first thing we need to look at is the power settings so that when we shut the lid, later when we're using it as a desktop pipe type pc basically this won't go to sleep or hibernate etc so it's really crucial to actually check those settings so if we type in here power it's power and sleep settings now this is a really crucial step because without it it basically can cause a problem so we're going to firstly set the screen and sleep settings to all readers never because there's nothing more frustrating than actually going off or going to sleep whilst in the middle of using it and then we, what we need to do is go to additional power settings over here and then on here choose what the lid closing the lid does now this is a really crucial point because if we close the lid it could go to sleep so when i close the lid on battery it goes to sleep we're going to say do nothing and when we close the lid plugged in again i'm going to choose do nothing so that's a really important step to take otherwise your computer will power down when you close the lid okay so that's the power and sleep settings sorted. The next thing we need to do is look at the display. Now, as you can see, they are duplicated at the moment. You can use them as duplicated or you can use them as extended. So you have two different screens, but for the purposes of this video, we're just actually turning our laptop into a desktop type setup. So we're just going to have the one main screen working. So in the search bar, if you type in display settings, okay. And as you can see here, it's denoting that it is actually duplicated. That is a sign that the screens are duplicated. So if you scroll down to where it's got multiple displays, duplicate these displays. If you select show only on screen two, 
if you select that and you'll see that it's outputted to that screen so if you keep the changes accordingly so we've just changed the output to the external display so we just need to make sure that the sound is outputted okay as well because this can sometimes change so if we type into the search bar control panel and select control panel from the right hand side as you can see go into control panel and select hardware and sound when you selected that if you find sound and go across to manage audio devices click on that and as you can see at the moment it's outputted to our Lenovo monitor at the top as you can see there which doesn't have speakers so we need to default back to the laptop so if we select the Realtek audio speakers select that and set as default and the sound is now back to our laptop so that's just something to watch and then what we can do is close the lid on there everything's working and we can basically move everything over to the side accordingly okay and our keyboard over there and you are basically set up and ready to go I've also put together a video for you on how to split your screen in Windows 10 for multitasking, which can help improve productivity. Here I share a bunch of useful tips. You can click on the links appearing on screen now. Alternatively, if you want to see other useful PC related videos, I've also put together a playlist for you. Again, links are appearing on screen now. But thank you so much for watching our video today on how to turn your laptop computer into a desktop type setup. We'll see you on the next video.